All right, what's crack a lacking y'all? We finally got our carbon fiber lip and diffuser. Well, it's not carbon fiber. It looks like carbon fiber. It's just plastic, I think, ABS. But this would probably cost me like $1,000 if they were real. This cost me about $200, so worth the wait. Showed up like three days ago, but I've been busy. Just working, Christmas stuff. Hang with the family today, so it's Christmas day today. So I got free time. I don't think there's anything going on on Uber Eats. So I don't feel like I got to work for once. Uh, so the lip should be super easy because we already have screws or holes in the bumper. So I don't even got to line it up really. Uh, so we'll tape the center together, screw all those screws in. Should be easy as that. Uh, probably just jack up one side at a time. Hit this side first, hit that side. Haven't done the diffuser before, so it might be a little bit more difficult. But I was going through DIYs online and it seems pretty simple. About the same as this, it's just unscrewing the old one, putting some screws through the bumper with the new one. Shouldn't be too difficult. Hey, I finally got new earrings. Shout out to my parents, got them for Christmas. They are obviously not real, because if they're real, it costs like 10k minimum. These bad boys are about a, uh, like 120, I think. <laughs> so we got all the fake stuff going on. But same thing goes with the fake diamonds as the fake carbon fiber. From about 10 feet away, you can't tell the difference. So I know you might be you might be stupid if you're paying for the real stuff, unless you just got it like that. In which case, that's tough. But. I don't got it like that, so. But I might end up just ordering a new lip here in a few days, just cause I was doing like reading online and I could make like a splitter for this and it probably would keep it from getting damaged, but it would cost me at least a hundred bucks and that's what one of these costs. I could just keep a spare one and it really doesn't take that long to install and stuff. So I don't really know if it's worth all the effort because then I'd have to figure out how to mount it and stuff. Because you can't really mount it to the lip because it's like hollow on the bottom. So it's probably easier to just order a spare one and then just hope and pray I don't go down any sketchy brick, brick driveways. Definitely gonna have to get used to driving with the lip too. It's like two different worlds driving with the lip without it. You wouldn't think so, but man, I can I can cook over some bumps without it. But you gotta be real careful with it. Gotta angle all the driveways and speed bumps and all that good stuff, but it's definitely worth it. Should look super good now that we have like good fitment, or good enough fitment in the lip. Definitely make a nice difference. Also, the car looks like a mess right now. It was literally, I think it was like two days before Christmas. It literally, like, I wouldn't say stormed. It was raining for like at least 36 hours straight. Like in Arizona, I'm not, I'm used to sunny days over and over and over. So that was like a depressing 36 hours. I'm just working way too many hours a day and it's just pouring i can't even drive fast because the roads are just like flooded it's a rough rough day or two but we got her done yeah the car needs it washed desperately the interior i vacuumed it yesterday it literally looked like i just left my car with all the windows down i was driving with the windows down a lot <laughs> during the rain which might not be the smartest thing, but it literally looked like I left the car with all the windows down just under like a dying tree. That's how many leaves were in the interior. But I don't think I've vacuumed it since I got the car, so it definitely needed it. Looks like 20 times better inside now.
I might just pull off the underglow as well while I'm underneath here, assuming it hasn't already. Yeah, I'm surprised it's still on there, especially after all those storms. Shit built this. It's all fucking hanging down over there and shit. Kind of ratchet. snap yeah I'm just gonna grab a Phillips head screwdriver but I remember when I pulled it out I just used the freaking actually I might want to put it in with the screwdriver and then finish it with the drill but with the drill it literally took me like two minutes to pull this thing off hmm. might be kind of hard to hold it up there without the jack but it'd be ten times more annoying to freaking Jack up the front. Let's see what we can do. Remember, always take the path of least resistance. My favorite David Goggins quote. <laughs> so we just gotta make sure this bad boy is centered. That should be good to go. Something like that. Should not be too shabby at all. It's kind of freaking hard to see. and shit. Oh, there we go. Once we get a few lined up, it should be pretty freaking easy. I need to put a freaking t-shirt on though. It's a little toasty. It is interesting, like how the humidity changes. Make sure things are actually recording. Changes like Oh my gosh, it already looks so much better with this thing on. Like, go on like a normal morning and it's like 50 and like 0% humidity. It's like freezing and it just feels like, I don't even know the word, like agitating almost. Like that's not the right word, but it just feels like cold and dry. But like 50 with like high humidity is like way more comfortable. It's kind of... Interesting. Low key though. Low key interesting though. save the screws from last time I don't even think they gave me screws last time it actually came with screws this time but they don't have like washers on them so I'm just gonna use these ones 
Maybe a little bit stronger. Yeah, that looks <laughs> so much cooler. That's so good. I know I said this in the first video, but it's literally insane what a difference that makes. It's like the best hundred dollars you could spend on F80. Yeah, this thing is filthy. I don't even have to jack up the other side either. I think we can get to all of them from here. The screws on the other side seem just a little bit off. Yeah, all these ones on this side are like perfect still. Beast underglow lasted a good eight hours, not including driving. That's mostly just me sleeping. Yeah, it's just not even like plugged into the rest of the fucking shit. Doing the skids video last night, these tires feel great by the way. Just like with the everyday driving, it hooks so much better. Before it just feels like infinitely safer and more fun. But yeah, usually these things hook, so I have to like freaking like really try and get this thing sideways in like second gear and shit. But I think because I usually do the video like after I've been driving the car so the tires are like pretty warmish. I think the tires were just cold and I was like way overcooked it on like that second skid in yesterday's video. And they feel great. All of the wear looks normal now it's not fucking like insane shoulder wear even on these fronts and they have a good amount of camber so that's good this is right there right in my face
drill down on this side. You just gotta drill them all in. And that looks freaking so much better. So good. It's actually lining up pretty good. I think it's just one hole is a little off. One screw. Found it. This car is so sick. I feel like the tires really like change the feel of the way that the car looks. If that makes any sense. Like you like see this thing you're like oh yeah this thing fucking means business all right i'll go get the drill set up still got this stupid ass eraser wheel on here should see if i can return this thing help me pay for my touch-up paint Horrifying. Just rip your freaking hand off. I actually love the way these Gymshark pants fit, or jogging pants fit, but they're just old as hell, so they have a hole in the pocket, like right where it touches your leg, and I always put my phone in my pocket with like the screen facing my leg. And so I like go to work in these things, just be working like normal and just every once in a while I'd pull my phone out of my pocket and it's just locked for like 10 minutes because it's just been touching my leg and just putting in random passcode numbers. Just horrific. Right, let's zap these bad boys. Oh. So they're officially car working pants now. Might have to lift the other side up for this. I don't want to go crazy tight or nothing, just tight enough.
to tape off now. <coughs> Actually, I don't know if I'll be able to. I did the same thing last time, though. You can't really see it, so. Not a huge deal. Actually got it this time. Big brain move. Big brain moment. looks <laughs> yeah that's so good it just looks so much meaner now like this is exactly what an m3 should look like for it just looks like a friggin little goofy looking so good Clip all this underglow shit off. Yeah. I am low key just a little bit salty about <laughs> doing all that work and it just instantly doesn't work. But at least it didn't fucking cause a fire or some shit. Actually, just gonna clip it right here. I'll leave the rest. It's not really dangling. Maybe we'll be able to fix it. I don't really know what the hell went wrong. I'm guessing the part that I ran over the muffler just got burnt up. If I had to take a guess.
Hell yeah, brother. That is it. squeeze so if we torch this one we can probably get to a spot where we can replace these bad boys in about 30 minutes or so I think this jack always finds the crack no matter what that looks freaking awesome so good Still probably get a spacer for the rear. You'll get five mil or eight mil or something. Definitely get a little a little tighter. Yeah, that looks freaking sick. I think the Warriors game is on right now, so I'm probably gonna watch that. Take a little break, eat some food, then we'll jump to the to the to the diffuser install. I'm happy about that. All right, y'all. Warriors got the beat down. But hopefully we will not be. <laughs> we just got four eight mils underneath here. I'm gonna pull the old one off first, put the new middle part on, and I think that'll make it easier to line up the side parts. So we're gonna start with this big boy.
Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. That kind of sucks, but I think it'll get covered up. I almost fucking <laughs> flew backwards, bro. God damn. Alright. Get the old one. Should just go in there, something like that. I think we just gotta push the top up a little bit. That's gonna look freaking awesome. Got a little flat head. It looks like it fits way better with these tips, which makes me happy. I'm not gonna stick out quite as much. Insect part's kind of like folding in a bit too much. I think that this might just work. I'm just using a hair hair blow dryer. Yeah, hair blow dryer on heat, high heat. So. This is after trying to mold it a little bit. This is what it looks like before. It's definitely a little bit higher. I think we need to still go a bit higher. We basically want to get it lined up with these two. I probably should have filmed me putting it on, but I wasn't sure if it was going to fit or not. But it's pretty much on there. Looks like all of the clips are pretty much in there. It's just this middle section now I might have to pull it back out anyways I just kind of bent it all up um, without heat and it works pretty well let's see if we can just force this little part open over Might be easier to just pull it out and bend it somewhere. Once we get that, then we can just screw it into place. It's pretty damn close though. So you can see, it's pretty even between these four. We're just trying to get this center part up a little bit. <laughs> Definitely kind of a ratchet way to do it, but it's working. Right. Looks like it should be good. 
You can always just kind of push it down from the back if it's too high, so. Tuppers, mm, It's like just close enough for it might be on the edge, or should be a little sketchy. Drill some holes. Use the OEM hardware. It's definitely close though. try and drill through here so we can use the stock bolts <laughs> if that does not work we'll have to do some self tapper type shit uh, try and do it the proper way first this looks like about the right size drill bit but unfortunately I don't have any smaller ones I don't know what happened to them so hopefully this will work okay without a pie the hole Trying to shake it off. Oh my god! These fucking gloves, bro. Perfect sized hole.
right there. All right, so we got that little stinker on there. It's a pain in my freaking cojones. Um, so the front is secured. The sides are not really, because it doesn't have the same like slot that goes straight back to where you could use the OEM screws. So it's kind of just hanging here. And luckily, if we put this on here, roughly, it looks like, Looks like all right. Oh, no. <laughs> Something like this. It looks like there's a slot there. No, that's right. I gotta get underneath. It basically, it looks like there's a slot on this part. Or you could use a self trap, self tab ready to go into this part so it should hold itself up. I just gotta figure out how the fuck this shit fits on there. Alright, so this shit's actually pretty sweet. So if you drill through the spots where they tell you to, it actually lines up with the where the OEM bottom bumper bolts are. But you can't use the OEM bolts because they're too short. And it won't thread into like the underbody, so it's like well, that kind of sucks. Especially if these ones that they provided don't work either, but these ones actually do work just fine, which is strange because they're a little bit smaller, but still threads in fine. So that's freaking awesome. I thought I was trying to avoid running to the store at all costs. I don't even think I can right now, so. I don't lay on any screws. It truly surprises me every time how legit some of this China stuff is. Especially for the price. Definitely want to be careful with your eyeballs underneath here as well. It's fucking nice and sandy. thread the rest of these in and show you guys what it looks like. It looks freaking awesome. It's a little bit goofy right now just because uh, the middle isn't attached to the edges but it makes it look way more aggressive. It doesn't really look too out of place either which I like. Yeah that's pretty freaking sick. I just gotta do the other side and we can drop it back down. Uh, we got this side all drilled out on the diffuser part. Got the old bolts out of there. Now I'm just gonna toss this bad boy on there.
peasy. Freaking peasy, dude. Yeah, but this shit's pretty legit, bro. For a hundred bucks. It's hard to beat, bro. It's also like your expectations are just so low. <laughs> like, you expect nothing, and then you get anything, you're like, damn, fuck yeah. Right, let's drop this little stinker down. Right, let's drop this bad boy down to the flow. I did actually notice this part. There's like <laughs> no carbon fiber here, which is kind of whack actually. But you get what you pay for, I guess. And I did not pay much, so can't expect too much. We still need a self tap to this part, but yeah, it's Christmas, so I'm assuming the Ace Hardware is closed. So you can save that for another time. It looks so fucking sick. That one part pisses me off, but I assume if I didn't point it out, nobody would really notice. The exhaust tips look way more freaking normal now as well it looks so good it makes the whole rear end like look way more aggressive that's so good <laughs> so tough I freaking love that and then we still got the spoiler coming that shit said like January 15th or something Everything's been showing up like a month later than it says, so who knows when that's coming, but yeah, that looks so freaking good, but the spoiler will really complete the look. Kind of matches the aggressiveness of the diffuser, but this thing looks so dang good. It's so tough. I just need some freaking fancy tail lights. This thing will be dang near perfect. I love it.